The hand is made up of 27 bones, not including the sesamoid bones, or bones embedded in tendons. These 27 bones can be divided amongst three groups, the phalanges, the metacarpals, and the carpals. Let's start with the phalanges, which are the bones of your fingers. There are 14, and these can be divided into the distal, intermediate, and proximal phalanges. The distal ones are the most distant from your body's core, while the proximal ones are the closest to your palm. Your thumb is the only finger that lacks an intermediate phalanx bone, mirroring your big toe's structure. The points of contact between the phalanx bones of each finger are called the interphalangeal articulations of the hand. Articulation is just a fancy word for joint. Five metacarpals run from the proximal phalanges to the carpal, or wrist bones. Where the metacarpals meet the proximal phalanges, you have the metacarpophalangeal joints. If you think that's a mouthful, just call them your knuckles. Now, let's look at the eight carpals, which can be organized into two rows. The distal row, you guessed it, are more distant from your body's core and closer to the fingers. The bones in this row make contact with the metacarpals at the intercarpal articulations. The proximal row articulates the bones of the forearm. The proximal row includes the scaphoid, lunate, trichetral, and pisiform. The distal row includes the trapezium, the trapezoid, capitate, and hamate. Here's a helpful mnemonic I found for the carpals. So long to pinky, here comes the thumb. Scaphoid, lunate, trichetrum, pisiform, hamate, capitate, trapezoid, trapezium. The mnemonic goes in a little circle, starting with the proximal carpal bone nearest the thumb, and ending with the distal carpal bone nearest the thumb. Remember that the trapezium is the bone nearest the thumb. Both the trapezoid and the trapezium have a T in them, so don't confuse them. Also, pinky stands for pisiform, which is the proximal carpal bone nearest the pinky. Lastly, in addition to the 27 bones of the hand, I'd just like to mention the ulna and the radius, which are the two bones of the forearm. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It would help me make more videos. And make sure to comment with any topics you'd like me to cover in future videos. Also, it would be really nice if you could support me on Patreon. Thank you.